Hi, my name is Howard Woldridge. I'm a retired police detective from Fort Worth, Texas, currently living in Washington, D.C., representing that segment of law enforcement, uh, police officers, judges, prosecutors, who are opposed to the prohibition of drugs. This opposition to this policy was born as a police officer, as a street cop, when I saw the massive damage done by the prohibition, which caused more pain, suffering, and death than the use of the drugs themselves, especially in the case of marijuana. Today, we know that many police officers across the country are opposed to this policy, and I am their voice in the United States Congress as we attempt to repeal the federal prohibition laws on all drugs, starting with marijuana. Reasons to legalize, regulate, and tax marijuana. Currently, one million teenagers in America are employed selling drugs. And of those, well over 1,000 will be shot this year and 150 will die. This is an immoral policy whereby we generate a job option which gets, gets our children shot or killed. With the legalization of marijuana, we would be better able to control the sale of marijuana to our children. Like with alcohol, stores would ask for identification before the sale. And that way, it would be more difficult for our kids to obtain marijuana. Today, kids can buy it and they don't ask for ID, so therefore we have 12-year-olds and even 10-year-olds buying marijuana. With the legalization of marijuana, we will have more resources, more money that we can give to our students in the schools. They'll have smaller classes, better teachers, and uh, we can lower the tuition because the state will have more money to put into education versus the prisons. With legalization of marijuana, our students would not be losing their scholarships because of a marijuana arrest. With the legalization of marijuana, law enforcement would stop wasting $13 billion a year we spend chasing a green plant. Moreover, in taxing it, we could make about another $7 billion. This money could be better spent on the education of our kids. Moreover, my profession could arrest more pedophiles and other threats to children if we weren't flying around in helicopters looking for a green plant. We need to focus on protecting our children and other people in our society rather than a Willie Nelson, a Snoop Dogg, or people smoking marijuana. With legalization of marijuana, stores would sell marijuana which has been checked by government inspectors and make sure it's a pure product where there are no other drugs inside the marijuana which are much more harmful than the marijuana itself. Also, the packaging labels could tell us exactly the strength in THC of the marijuana so we know exactly what we're getting as consumers. With the legalization of marijuana, consumers would have a safer choice than alcohol. Today, consumers only have alcohol as a legal drug to use at 6 o'clock to take the edge off the day. In my professional experience, in my personal experience, marijuana is much safer than alcohol for both the consumer and those around them because marijuana does not generate reckless, aggressive, or violent behavior. Alcohol does. With legalization of marijuana, we would have far fewer prisoners in our state prisons and local jails. Very few actually go to jail for possession of marijuana, but many are sent back to prison because they fail a drug test after they get out on probation. This costs the taxpayers billions and billions of dollars every year. With legalization of marijuana, we could cut the size, the violence, and the membership of our gangs in half. Again, marijuana accounts for 50% of all the arrests for drugs in the United States. We need to reduce the size of our gangs and their violence around our major cities. With legalization of marijuana, we could cut the violence and size of the Mexican cartels by at least half. Per federal studies, over half their income is derived from the sale of marijuana and Mexico, our neighbor to the south, deserves better than to be blown apart because America wants to continue their marijuana prohibition. With the legalization of all drugs, we can cut the power of the cartels in Mexico and Central America by some 80%. Remember that the cartels began to exist for the exportation of drugs to the United States. When that source goes away, I believe the local police departments will be able to destroy the rest of these cartels. My profession, law enforcement, has been at this for 40 years and have spent a trillion tax dollars. For all of that, as reported by the DEA in their brochure, and I quote, drugs are readily available to America's youth. Drugs are readily available to America's youth. Drugs are cheaper, stronger, 
it's time to reassess the policy and do what our grandparents did in 1933, which is to end federal prohibition and allow the states to choose their own path. Police officers who oppose legalization do so for two main reasons. Number one, the money. My profession is given $13 billion a year. Much of that is free money from the federal government. It's great overtime, it's great job security for the prison guards, and that's why the Fraternal Order of Police supports drug prohibition to make sure that their members are employed with good overtime checks. The second reason is emotional. All of us, including myself, have been to funerals of officers who've died enforcing marijuana prohibition. When we end marijuana prohibition, it becomes official that every officer who sacrificed his or her life in this marijuana prohibition did so for little gain. It is my experience on Capitol Hill in the United States Congress that another large opponent to legalization of marijuana is the pharmaceutical industry. They are aware, as many others are, that God didn't make no junk. It is excellent medicine that we believe a citizen should be allowed to grow in their backyard free of cost. Drug companies want to make money. Their store-bought pills are expensive. They want to keep their profit margins up. It's as simple as that. The alcohol industry is also an opponent to marijuana legalization because already today in 2012, marijuana competes with alcohol at six o'clock as a relaxing drug. If, if people put down a white wine, or a Jack Daniels in favor of a marijuana cigarette to take the edge off the day, that means they will lose sales. And the alcohol industry is convinced that sales will go down if marijuana is legal for adults in this country. Another opponent of le marijuana legalization is the private prison industry. Of course, they want more people in prison, not less. Again, it's all about money, taking care of their stockholders, and that means keeping the jails and prisons full so that they make lots of money. Is it good policy? They don't care. They're in it for the money. Why are parents opposed to the legalization of marijuana? Parents mistakenly believe that legalization for adults would result in it being more available to their children. This is false. Government studies have shown for the last 35 years that marijuana is more available to their kids than alcohol. Moreover, they don't understand that when their child makes a bad choice at 16 or 17 to buy marijuana, they come in contact with a drug dealer who may offer them something a lot stronger and more dangerous. Just another reason why we should put marijuana in a store and treat it just like we do alcohol and tobacco. Certainly we know the cartels and other terrorist groups around the world like Al-Qaeda and Sendero Luminosa, FARC in Colombia are against legalization because it would cut dramatically their money to operate and kill people. Therefore, they are against any change in drug policy because it would reduce dramatically the money they make from it.